a beautiful, young, 22-year-old woman for incorrectly wearing a hijab? Respect for a self-appointed clique of misogynistic old men who believe women are nothing more than chattels to be owned and controlled by tyrants? To be there to make babies and to supply martyrs for their unholy and disgusting wars? Respect for murderers who hate and kill anyone and everyone who does not follow their misappropriated, horrid, and unrelenting teachings and beliefs who demean, bully, torture, and kill other Muslims, the Kurds, the Baha'i, the Sunnis, the gays, the women, relentlessly, brutally, and unceasingly. This is about demeaning, abusing, and controlling women. I ask all of you to think of the women in your lives, your grandmothers, your mothers, your sisters, your wives, your girlfriends, your children, your daughters. If you were in Iran right now, this could, God forbid, be happening to your women right now. So far, we can confirm that more than 50 people, Kurds and Iranians, have been brutally murdered by this terrorist regime for protesting the killing of Zina Amini. And yet, the butcher of Tehran, Ibrahim Razi, has the nerve, has the audacity to say to Zina's bereaved parents, listen to this. And I quote, your daughter is like my own daughter. And I feel that this incident happened to one of my loved ones. End of quote. Really, Ibrahim? Really? Then why do you continue to kill your so-called daughters? I ask you. Why do you allow the gush? A. Arshad, I don't know if I said that right, your morality police to continue murdering your women. I say to you, my Kurdish brothers and sisters, raise your voice. <laughs> demand, demand the following from the Canadian government. One, demand justice for Zina. Two, Demand that Canada loudly condemn these horrendous murders taking place right now in Iran. No excuses. No weak, mealy mouth response. <coughs> Demand, <coughs> excuse me, true condemnation. Three, demand that the Canadian government open up our borders <coughs> to allow Kurds from Turkey, from Syria, from Iraq, and from Iran to be allowed to come to Canada immediately. <coughs> oh, thank you very much. Excuse me while I took you. <clears throat> the lack of response from the Canadian government in sitting on those much needed visas for people whose lives are in danger in Turkey, in Syria, in Iraq, in Iran, that they are not allowed in solely because they are Kurds? No, that is not acceptable. That is not the Canadian way. Every single day, I get requests from Kurds in these countries to try and help them come to Canada and no matter how hard I try, and Shadow knows, the Canadian government will not assist me in helping you. Make Canada responsible and accountable. Insist that they allow more Kurdish people into Canada. You have to do it. You have to fight. 
There are only two groups of women in the world that are true warriors, that are recognized for their commitment, effectiveness, determination, and fierce ability to fight for their people, the Kurdish women and Israeli women. Okay, your son, Emma Pam, is from here, but Zmani, English, is Ziad, Ziad Abu Tayf, La Andam Parlamani, Canada, Wakanisha Kushgiri, Kudula, Saki Kurusanu, La Sabaki, Saki Iran, La Sharakani, Iran, or Panic, Zor, Bashi Block, the Kurdish Somali Kurdi, Gayangua, Melody, Hauri Haukar, and Zmani, English, what under the friend of Dustan Aziz, Maya Pam, and Digayarim. زیاد از طرف زیاد قبول تیف یکی از اعضای پارلمان کانادا که دوست بسیار خوب ما در خانه کرویل همون کردیش هاست هست هستش یک پیام کوبنده ای علیه رژیم اسلامی ایران فرستاده ضمن اینکه زیاد قبلا خودش رای داد در پارلمان کانادا که سپاه ترور We, we don't know what to say but this is a time where the world can't ignore this and it's our friends, it's you, it's, it's everybody here tonight and everybody who stands with the people and the protesters. Canada could not ignore this. Canada needs to recognize the terrorist regime that runs Iran right now, lists the IRGCs, finally as a terrorist organization. We passed the motion in Parliament in 2018 and still nothing has been done. And I assure you that when we have a change of government, it is on the priority list. We need to, on, the, on flight PSW 752, which many of you have spoken to me, our, our inability to lay sanctions is embarrassing for this country. And I assure you that the Conservative Party of Canada and Canada's Conservative will continue to stand with you for a free Iran. We will not ignore what is happening here. We are not going to ignore the protests that are taking place. We are not going to ignore human rights, the rule of law, and eventually a free Iran. We're going to stand with those people and we're going to be vocal about it. And we're going to make a change in this country. I'm going to pass it over to Jazz. Okay. Marba Jamuri Esami. Marba Jamuri Esami. Marba Rajime Zetazan. Marba Rajime Zetazan. Marba Kario Nami. Oshaba Benini. Kario Nami. Oshaba Benini. Kario Nami. Oshaba Benini. Kario Nami.
after the passage said, Our missing parents, after all those parents, can go to the house, and go to the house, and go to the house, and go to the Thank you for coming. Thank you for your speech. Salam alaikum, my brothers and sisters.
ماشاءالله آفرین